you want to hop in the swimming pool before they all close down at the end of Labor Day weekend, you definitely got some uh, great weather for it. Uh, sunny and hot yesterday with a lot of records set. In fact, this is just a sampling of what we had. And at the top of the list was Deseret at 104 degrees. One and two in Salt Lake, that not only set the record for the day, but it was the hottest September temperature ever recorded. Uh, temperature was 100 at BYU, upper 90s in Cedar City and Spanish Fork. 78 at Alta, that was a record, but compared to the other readings, it would feel pretty comfortable, right? Well, even areas that didn't get into record territory were running about 10 to 15 degrees above average for this time of year. Our normal high in Salt Lake is 87. We'll blow past that by uh, even late morning, our record is 98. It looks like that'll be broken this afternoon, even though it won't get quite as hot as yesterday. We're starting out at 70 in Salt Lake. It's in the upper 40s in Logan, uh, upper 60s in Moab and Blanding, 79 right now in St. George. So we've got a wide range of readings out there. High pressure centered to our west, still dominating the weather pattern, but with it moving a little farther to the west today, that allows a northerly flow to develop and temperature won't climb quite as high as it did yesterday, but we'll still make it up to the century mark in Salt Lake City. It'll be in the mid-90s in Wendover. You'll make it up to 103 in Moab this afternoon and in St. George, 107. Hot enough that the excessive heat warning still continues for lower Washington County, including Zion National Park, all the way through uh, the evening of Labor Day. And on Labor Day, temperature could peak at 108 in St. George, but then potentially drop several degrees by the end of next week, even though it's still going to be pretty hot. And for northern Utah, it looks like we're going to peak at 104 on Saturday. We could do the same thing again on Tuesday. So very hot weather even after the holiday as we head back to work and school. But we finally got a temperature on the seven day forecast that isn't in the triple digits. In fact, dropping down into the mid 90s by next Thursday. So even though that's still going to be hot, at least we'll get uh, a little bit of relief. So looking forward nice. to that, Danny.